but actually it's um it's i mean if to at best it's only halfway through the teaching process because once we get the model we have to figure out how exactly that model can be taught and of course again i had no idea so we had to come together to first work for an hour on this analogy mm -hmm. to say if you were to give this very complex and every very abstract expert thinking model if you want to teach that to your students how can you possibly make that relatable to them so it's not something completely foreign for them to adopt in very short period of time within one semester so we went through various different analogies and something works better than others at certain steps and others works better than others in other steps so we it actually took us a while to come up uh, with agreement on what work might work best and and that turns out to be an analogy of you know on one side is a messy apartment that someone needs to clean up on the other is a very tightly organized OB theory with complex um, um, evidence theories, ways of thinking, and then really the the majority of the time that students spend doing is going back and forth between the messy room and the library to reflect on what is the situation in the real room, world, what are the possible ways that the theories will solve it, what's the match, what's applicable, what's not, what's the priorities, how do I specify, how do I match. I mean it's, it's actually a lot of thinking process that people do in between those two, um, two spaces. And um, and that is like one analogy that that we keep improving on that I used again this semester. It worked out pretty well.